In the tumultuous aftermath of the Titanomachy, the triumphant Olympian gods faced a momentous task. Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades, three formidable brothers born of the very fabric of the cosmos, found themselves at a celestial crossroads. The universe lay before them, an endless canvas waiting to be divided amongst its new rulers. In the skies, the boundless heavens stretching infinitely above, Zeus claimed the celestial sphere as his dominion. His mighty voice resonated through the heavens, and his thunderbolts became the heralds of his divine sovereignty. In the vast seas of waters that encircled the world, Poseidon, with a sweep of his trident, he declared dominion over the boundless waters and all the mysteries hidden beneath their tumultuous surface. While Zeus and Poseidon convened on the majestic heights of Mount Olympus, Hades chose a different path. Relinquishing his seat on Mount Olympus, Hades delved into the desolate depths of the underworld, where shadows clung to every crevice and the air was heavy with the weight of eternity. Hades, the enigmatic and often misunderstood brother, stood at the precipice of the underworld as god of the dead and king of the underworld. It was a shadowy realm where the souls of the departed found their eternal reprieve. There, he undertook the solemn duty of overseeing the souls of the deceased, maintaining the delicate balance between life and death itself. However, as he ruled over the land of the dead, the land of perpetual twilight, he couldn't help but feel a profound emptiness gnawing at the edges of his immortal soul. The ceaseless solitude had left an indelible mark upon him. The souls of the departed, though numerous, offered no solace in their wordless existence. The flickering torchlight cast eerie dancing shadows upon the cavern walls, and the distant echoes of distant cries filled the air. Hades had become acutely aware of the void that echoed in his heart, a yearning for companionship for a kindred spirit to share the endless night. It was during these solitary hours beneath the oppressive weight of the world's forgetfulness that Hades came to a realization. The somber tapestry of his dominion needed an infusion of light, a counterpoint to the eternal darkness that shrouded it. He longed for a partner to rule by his side, someone who could bring warmth to the cold stones of his subterranean palace, and someone whose radiance could pierce the obsidian depths. With newfound determination, Hades embarked on a quest of his own. Through the twisting passages and cavernous halls of the underworld, he sought a companion to rule alongside him. His search was relentless, and he scoured every corner of his domain, seeking the one who could fill the void in his immortal heart. For in the heart of the Lord of the Underworld, a desire burned as fiercely as the fires of his realm, a desire to find not just anyone, but someone who would bring balance to his world. He sought a partner who could understand the delicate equilibrium between life and death, darkness and light. And so, the enigmatic lord of the underworld, driven by a longing that transcended the boundaries of his realm, ventured forth on a quest. The very foundations of the underworld trembled in anticipation. Hades began his search for someone to rule alongside him, someone that could bring a shimmer of light to his dark domain, someone to be his queen. Persephone was a goddess of profound beauty and significance. She was the cherished daughter of Demeter, the benevolent goddess of the harvest, and Zeus, the supreme deity of the sky. Persephone embodied the very essence of nature's bounty, a living testament to the lush vegetation and golden grains that graced the earth. On a radiant day, when the sun caressed her skin and the meadow at her feet teemed with vibrant wildflowers, Persephone roamed freely. Her laughter harmonized with the melodies of the natural world, a symphony of life that resonated through the fields. Her radiant beauty was beyond compared, a celestial embodiment of all that was pure and vibrant. Unbeknownst to Persephone, who was surrounded by peace and serenity, the god of the underworld, Hades, cast his gaze upon her. Cloaked in shadows, he was a figure of mystery, and his heart was ensnared by her ethereal beauty. With a desire that burned like the very fires of his domain, Hades descended from the shadows and made his presence known to the unsuspecting goddess. Intrigued and emboldened by his passion, Hades, the lord of the underworld, approached Persephone with an offer that was both tempting and beguiling. He tried to seduce her with words that danced like shadows on the edge of her consciousness. He spoke of the dominion he ruled, a realm where darkness and mystery held sway, and where their love could flourish in eternal night. 
With all the charm and persuasion at his disposal, Hades embarked on a journey to win Persephone's heart. He knew that she had not sought his love, that her initial response had been one of defiance. Yet, his determination was unwavering, for he saw in her a glimmer of hope, a chance to bring warmth to his cold and somber realm. He painted a vivid picture of their shared destiny, a union that would see her crowned as his queen, with the power to shape the very essence of the underworld. He whispered sweet promises of dominion over the shadows, the allure of ruling by his side, and the treasures only the underworld could bestow. But Persephone, far from a passive maiden, stood her ground against Hades' advances. She was a goddess of her own desires, and her heart remained unyielding. Despite the allure of his words, she refused to be swayed by the dark charms of his realm or the intoxication of his promises. With a spirit as fierce as the blaze of a thousand suns, Persephone defied the lord of the underworld. She resisted his advances, refusing to be ensnared by the shadows of his seduction. Her unwavering resolve was a testament to her strength and independence. However, Hades, consumed by his desire, could not accept rejection. In an act of divine audacity, he unleashed his power, causing the very ground beneath Persephone's feet to fracture and crumble, swallowing her whole into the abyssal depths of the underworld. With a flash of divine might, Hades had abducted Persephone, spiriting her away to his somber domain, a realm where the living seldom trod, and from which the souls of the departed knew no escape. The world above, once teeming with life and vibrancy, now stood without its radiant goddess. Demeter, the deity responsible for the Earth's bountiful harvests, was in anguish when she discovered her beloved daughter's abrupt disappearance. A deep and inconsolable sorrow gripped her heart, and the once lush gardens she tended with maternal care withered into desolation. As Demeter roamed the earthly realm, her very presence cast a somber shadow, and her grief manifested as an unyielding famine that tightened its cruel grip upon the world. Demeter vowed that she would not relent, that the famine she wrought upon the world would persist until her beloved daughter was returned to her loving embrace. As the days stretched into agonizing weeks, and the weeks into torturous months, the earth groaned beneath the weight of her despair. Crops withered, and hunger became the relentless companion of mortals. What was once a world of plenty had become a desolate, unforgiving wasteland. But Demeter remained unwavering in her resolve. Her anguish was etched upon the barren fields and the gnarled trees, a poignant testament to the depths of a mother's love. The earth itself mirrored her grief, its once fertile soil now barren and unyielding. Zeus, the king of the gods, could not ignore the suffering that enveloped the world, a suffering born of Demeter's unyielding grief. He understood the cosmic balance that must be maintained, yet he also bore a sense of responsibility for the mortals who suffered beneath the weight of Demeter's sorrow. To remedy this dire situation, Zeus dispatched Hermes, the fleet-footed messenger of the gods, to parley with Hades. The message was clear and unambiguous, the famine that devastated the world could only end if Persephone were returned to the loving arms of her mother, Demeter. Hermes, the celestial diplomat, stood before the lord of the underworld and presented him with the stark reality that unfolded on the surface. He spoke of Demeter's anguish, the sorrow that clung to her like a shroud, and the dire consequences it wrought upon the mortal realm. Hades, with an air of reluctant acceptance, agreed to release Persephone, Yet he devised a cunning twist, a gesture that would forever bind her to the underworld. Before Persephone's ascent to the surface, Hades offered her a single glistening pomegranate, its plump seeds shimmering like rubies in the dim light of the underworld. Hungry and weary from her captivity, Persephone succumbed to temptation and took a single bite, forever sealing her fate. At long last, Persephone was reunited with Demeter, her mother's joy eclipsing even the brilliance of the sun itself. The goddess of the harvest, overcome with emotion, put an end to the famine that had plagued the world for far too long. The earth itself sighed with relief as life began to return, but Demeter's heartache was far from over. In her haste to embrace her long-lost daughter, Demeter inquired if Persephone had consumed anything during her time in the underworld. The truth spilled from Persephone's lips like a heavy secret, she had tasted the forbidden fruit that Hades had offered, a single succulent seed from the pomegranate. 
Demeter's heart sank like a stone, for she knew all too well the inexorable law of the underworld, that those who partook of its sacred fruit were forever bound to its shadow depths. Her joy was mingled with sorrow, for she understood that her beloved Persephone was now destined to dwell with Hades in the realm of shadows. Zeus, the fair and just arbiter of divine matters, recognized the need to assuage the grief of both Demeter and the suffering mortals. With the wisdom that comes from ages of ruling the cosmos, he devised a solution that would honor the laws of the universe while granting respite to the world above. Zeus proposed a compromise, a celestial accord that would bridge the realms of life and death. For one third of the year, Persephone would reign as Hades' queen in the underworld, presiding over its dark and silent dominion as a gracious yet somber queen of the dead. During the remaining months, she would ascend to the upper world, basking in the love and warmth of her mother, Demeter. Thus, the seasons were born from the depths of divine negotiation. When Persephone descended into the underworld, Demeter's heartache mirrored the barrenness of winter, where life lay dormant and the land was shrouded in a cold, unforgiving embrace. But as Persephone ascended to the surface world, the earth responded in kind. Flowers burst forth, trees bore fruit, and the world flourished in a vibrant celebration of life. The eternal dance between mother and daughter, between the realms of life and death, became the very heartbeat of the natural world. Demeter's love and Persephone's dutiful return mark the turning of the seasons, a testament to the enduring power of familial bonds and the ever-cycling rhythm of life itself. As the seasons unfolded, the world bore witness to the eternal cycle of life, death, and rebirth. A reflection of the enduring bond between mother and daughter, Demeter and Persephone. When Persephone descended into the depths of the underworld, Demeter's heart grew heavy, and the world itself seemed to mourn the absence of its radiant goddess. As Persephone spent more time with Hades, something extraordinary began to happen. She, the goddess of the upper world, began to see beyond the darkness that cloaked the lord of the underworld. She saw his vulnerability, his yearning for connection, and the depths of his love. Despite her initial reluctance, Persephone's heart slowly thawed. She found herself drawn to the enigmatic god who had once been a stranger in her world. Hades' words, once mere shadows on the edge of her consciousness, now resonated with a profound truth, a truth that spoke to the transformative power of love. In the quiet moments they shared, amidst the echoes of the underworld, Persephone came to understand that love was not bound by the realms they ruled. It was a force that transcended the boundaries of their dominions, a force that could flourish even in the darkest of places. And over time, Persephone's feelings evolved. What had begun as a reluctant acquaintance transformed into a deep and abiding love. She saw in Hades a partner, a kindred spirit who had longed for companionship in the solitude of his realm. When the time came for Persephone's return to the surface world, Demeter's joy knew no bounds. Her laughter echoed through the fields, and the earth responded in kind. Flowers burst forth, trees bore fruit, and the world flourished in a vibrant celebration of life. The seasons were not merely a reflection of the changing weather, but a testament to the enduring love between mother and daughter, an unbreakable bond that transcended the boundaries of life and death. Each transition from darkness to light, from winter to spring and from autumn to summer, symbolized the ever-renewing cycle of existence. The story of Hades and Persephone has endured through the ages, captivating the hearts and minds of generations. It serves as a reminder of the eternal truths that govern our world, of the inevitability of change, the power of love, and the enduring cycle of life and death. As we journey through the seasons of our own lives, we can draw inspiration from this timeless tale. We can find solace in the knowledge that, even in our darkest moments, there is the promise of light and growth. We can cherish the bonds we share with our loved ones, knowing that they transcend the boundaries of time and space. And as we watch the world around us transition from winter's chill to spring's bloom, from summer's abundance to autumn's reflection, we can take comfort in the knowledge that the story of Hades and Persephone is not just a myth. It is a mirror reflecting the profound truths of our own existence, a reminder that, no matter the trials we face, the seasons of our lives will continue to turn 
and the cycle of life will endure. <laughs>